So how do we run VBA against an Excel file that is located on SharePoint Online? And how do we do it so that it is 100% automated? That is without a human being having to be present or even logged in to their own Office account. Well, the good news is that this can be done. And the other news, good or bad, depending on your outlook on life, is that this solution uses Power Automate Cloud and Desktop. We start off with the XLSM file that contains some VBA. As you can see, it is located on SharePoint Online. Let's open the file in Excel Desktop. Here we have the XLSM file showing the example worksheet. Here we can see the data table. The VBA code is triggered when the workbook opens. It creates a chart from that data with the title of the chart being the time and date of creation. So let's have a look at the VBA itself. The routine starts with, with the workbook open event. This runs the create chart routine. This creates the chart, renames the new sheet and the chart title. You can obviously put any VBA you like here. Note I've set auto save to be on for this workbook. I've set the macro settings in Excel desktop as follows. This prevents Excel returning confirmation requests and blocking the unattended macro run. Let's have a look at the Power Automate desktop flow created for this demo. There are five steps. Starting with the launch Excel, and then there's a wait action, and then there's close Excel, so let's have a look at the launch Excel. We can see that the file is indeed uh, open from SharePoint. There's the location. We're making the instance visible, though that's not important at this stage. There's no on error um, setting. We have a wait for five seconds to let it open. The close um, is set for save and there is an on error uh, to continue on error. And then the last action, we have a cancel button. So let's run the desktop flow and see it in action. I've sped the footage up. It takes approximately one minute. and the flow finished. So let's now have a look at the cloud flow that manages the whole solution. We have a recurrence as the trigger and then one action to run the desktop flow itself. Currently it's set in attended mode. Again, I've sped the footage up here. So that is all very well and good, but the cloud flow needs to run in unattended mode. We have tested the flow in attended mode and know it works. After updating the action to run in a unattended mode, we can see the result after I logged out and then back in again. We can see I scheduled the flow to run whilst I was logged out. It ran at 11 p.m. Because it is UK summer time, the workbook will actually update itself to show the date as midnight, that is plus one. So here I have demoed an Excel workbook on SharePoint that had a VBA routine run against it whilst the user was logged out. That is, it ran entirely autonomously.